Now we want to show you before we begin Haggalah, we want to keep two things in mind, okay? Number one is the way the Irui works. What Irui is, is when you pour, this is called the Kaliri Shon. The Kaliri Shon is what's on the fire. And when you pour that water from the Kaliri Shon, that's called Irui. And that's what's going to hit that water flow, which is going to hit the surface. You have to know that this water flow has to hit every part of the surface. It's not if enough that the water f should hit the surface and then spread. Those parts where the water spreads to will not be kosher. Let me show you, for example, from the sink. Second, we get the camera straight. We got it. Okay. Look, watch over here. When I pour the water, the flow, let's assume this is the pot. The flow is coming and hitting this spot right here. According to Halakha, this spot becomes kosher. And even though the water is coming and reaching all the other areas, that is not Irui. You need direct water everywhere. So let's assume this is a pot. And this needs to hit all of these spots as I'm doing right now. Okay? And it's not enough that the water should just flow over here. That's number one. Okay? Number two is that the surface has to be where you want to kosher. That surface that you want to kosher has to be... Let's get the camera straight. Okay? One second. The surface where you want to kosher should not have any wet spots. And the reason for that is, so I'm drying right now with a towel all this area that I want to kosher. So this way it's good. And the reason for that is that if the water hits the other water and not directly the surface, it's going to warm up the other water and not the main part, which is the walls that we want to kosher. Okay, so these two points again to keep in mind. When I kosher, the flow has to directly hit each part of the surface. And number two is that it has to be dry. Okay, and now we'll move on to show how we're going to kosher it with the pots.